You know, not to be a bug, but you have less than six hours if you haven't filed your taxes yet. And this tax deadline day has brought protesters to downtown Los Angeles. NBC4's <laughs> Stephanie Elam joins us live from Pershing Square. Steph, you still got a lot of folks with you. <laughs> yeah, well, you know what? There's about 100 or so people here, Lucy, who are saying, yeah, it's tax day for the 99% of Americans. But for that 1% who's really rich, they're saying it's not really a tax day for them at all, simply saying that the tax rate they pay isn't enough. In fact, we to talked to Jacob Hayes, a spokesperson with Good Jobs LA. Here's what he had to say. But unfortunately, some of the wealthiest corporations and individuals aren't stepping up to pay their fair share. When they don't pay their fair share, we don't have enough to support uh, the services we all depend on. Now, a lot of people have been coming to Pershing Square throughout the day to protest the fact that they pay a higher tax rate than they say those big companies and those wealthy people. So they're hoping to get some attention on this day as people are crunching the numbers and trying to get their taxes in before the deadline. Pershing Square, Stephanie Elam, NBC4 News. Thank you, Steph. So who pays how much in taxes? We've broken it down. That top 1% of wage earners, the richest 1% of Americans, pay 37% of all taxes collected by the IRS. The top 10% pays 70% of all taxes collected. And look at this. 98% of all taxes are paid by half of us. The remaining half pays 2%. We put more information about taxes, especially for you last-minute tax filers, on NBCLA.com.